What's up guys? Today I'm gonna teach how to create this crazy animation in Adobe XD. What are the key things you're gonna learn in this tutorial? 1. How to create hover and second. How to create the scrollable effect. If you have been watching my videos or you are new to the channel please hit the subscribe button under the video here to join the family. So with all, I said let's jump into the tutorial. First thing first, have designed this website homepage and it has a shop button and it is not functional. And also social media icons. I leave a link in the video description for you to download the design if you want to follow me step by step. To apply hover state to the shop button, select the button. Press Ctrl or Command plus K or click on the plus icon right here to create the component. This creates a default state which is the main. Go ahead and click on the plus icon and choose hover state. So the hover state is the new state that will apply the animation. Come back to the button. Select the angle right move it forward a bit. Click the default state to switch back. Now let's preview and see how it works. Here you can see that whenever I hover on the button the angle right moves smoothly bit and if I move out it comes back to its default state. Back on the artboard, I will repeat the same process for the social media icons, so please do follow me as I proceed. So the difference between the shop and social media is one slide to the right and the other slide to the top when hovered. Now, we move to another stage. Select the artboard and press Ctrl or Command plus D to duplicate the artboard. Select the whole design on the artboard and move it to the left. Grab the rectangle tool, drag and draw the rectangle outside the artboard. Change the color. I will speed the video here because I'm just gonna place text and images on the rectangle. Select the entire design and place it at the half side of the artboard. Back to the home artboard. Select the shop button, switch to hover state. Go to the prototype tab. Select the arrow and drag it up to the second artboard. On the properties inspector. Change the type to auto animate and the duration to 1 second. This means if I hover on the button it changes to the hover state and if tab it will animate within 1 second to the second artboard. Let's test it out and see. Wow! This is awesome! At the top here on the second artboard, I will create a simple button. When clicked, it will scroll to the top or bottom. Select the ellipse tool and draw a circle. The width and the height should be the same. Unchecked fill. Change the size and dash of the border and the border color. Also add text.
click on the plus icon and make it a component. Add a new state and name it active. As the active state is selected, move to the bottom and change dash to zero. Duplicate the button and change the text. Here we go to another stage. Select the artboard, press Ctrl or Command plus D to duplicate the artboard as we did earlier. Here I will move the design to the top so that the second part of it shows. Select the button. Make sure it is in the default state. Go to the prototype tab. Click on the arrow and wire it the second board. On the properties inspector. Change the duration to 1.5 seconds. Select the second button and wire it to the third artboard. Now let's preview the animation. Yes, it's perfectly working. So the last thing we need to do is to navigate back to the home page. I will copy and paste this icon on the artboard. You can download it. I've placed the link in the video description. Or use other icons if you prefer. Make it a component and add a hover state. At the hover state, change the size of the arrow bit small than the default state. Change the color. Go to the prototype tab. Wire it back to the home page. Change duration to 1 second. Press the ALT key and drag to copy the button to the third artboard. Here you don't need to wire back to the home page because it inherits properties from the parent components. Now, let's preview our work. Yes, this is superb. If you enjoy this tutorial please give it a like and also subscribe and click the bell icon so anytime I post new video you get notified. And also, click on this video of mine to watch more tutorials on Adobe XD. See you all soon. Bye.